close the door. If you're a customer, you wouldn't have to knock. When we moved into this building, we obviously had the kind of showroom and office above us, which a lot of you probably sort of seen, which is great to look down on the cars. One of the things that is really important to us and our customers is to be able to see where your car is the whole time, who's working and what's being done. You know, we're all car enthusiasts. We want to see where our money's going, basically. So we had an office upstairs and you could always see down. We had the stairs, we had the glass white wall, which obviously you've seen lots of pictures before. Um, now we've had this done. So this is basically underneath our office. You can still cut there's a small waiting area, but this is, um, once it's finished and it is 99% there, unfortunately the glass is being fitted next week. This is our new waiting area, so come in and see what you think. What do you think, Patrick? I it's like cool it. in here, isn't it? It's like lovely and cool. Some nice sofas, yeah. little coffee table, little fridge, little TV. T-shirts, exhaust, big poster. I'll paint this wall. Excellent work, Patrick. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a nice seat and uh, watch my car get worked on. Just like this. Feet up, car gets worked on. And that's the whole point, really. That's why Mike's sat there. You can have a chilled out time and we can sit here and well, have a discussion about cars. When people come to us during the week, they are a lot of people work. You know, so to give someone a nice working environment where they can log onto the Wi Fi, they can uh, do their day to day stuff. A lot of people. I've got conversations to have during the day, and like I say, if you're in business, you've got to use the phone a lot. So to be here and be sort of locked away and do your day-to-day -day business, it's fine. I am tempted to move my office here, and the customers can go back upstairs because it's a bit no. Okay, but yeah, as you can see, uh, room with a view. So yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, comment down below. Um, you may well see me in here more often. I think we're going to do a few more videos in here. I think it'd be good to get some. I think it'd be good to do some talk chaser videos in there, like you sort of said before. Talk, oh, talk. talk chasers. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Like and subscribe. On the Motec t shirts in the wash. Yeah. Like and subscribe. So, yeah, we'll do a few more videos in here, a few more QAs. We're going to do an evening with Joe, so we'll get him in here one day, maybe do like a live Facebook Nah, thing. screw that guy. But, yeah, that's the plan. So, um, overall, first reaction to everyone really likes it. Good. I'm pleased it's done. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Mind you on the glass, mate. Yeah, watch out for the glass, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Michael. Good evening, Patrick. It's been a little bit quiet lately because Nicholas has been in Spa and you've been in London. I have been in London. Yeah, yeah. Walk stuff for this weekend, which is good. Um, 335D on the ramp now. We'll get a little bit of footage. We've just done the springs of spaces. It's coming back in this afternoon for power rise. We're going to jump onto this one next. This is a new thing for us. This is a 320D. We're putting an M performance style body kit onto it. So. This will look real OEM, real, real nice, quite subtle kit, sort of stuff you'd be able to buy from the so this should be good. Nice. What's got going on? Mr. TRL's coming up today? Yeah, right TRL. Right the vlog. Yeah, because we're going Christmas. filming tomorrow. Yes, we're filming. We're doing BOTB tomorrow, which is um, the M140 Motec Edition Car 2, TRL's own car, um, which is going against RJ Hamilton's M2. So, interesting. Um, it will be an interesting race. It will be, yeah, it should be good. So we're going to get some octane booster into it and yeah. on 107 run fuel. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll have a good. But uh, yeah, sunshine's out, cars are coming in and out. What more do you want, Patrick? Oh, mm. tell me what else you got to do. You got to talk to people about the big brake kit which said right for the Golf Mark 7 Yeah, all right then. Yep, yep. you want to start it. <laughs> power talk. We do two types of power improvements. We do ECU remapping. A lot of people know what this. But the other thing we do is we do power riders. Remus manufacture them. These are brilliant on newer cars, cars under warranty. People that chop and change cars. Like myself, I went from my 640D down to the 420D. It's good to have a unit that you can reprogram and basically just take with you. So they're good for that. Number of reasons why they're good. Like I say, easy to fit, easy to take off. 
good for service and warranty work. This basically is the Remus plug-in box, but it also does come with a delete plug. So by putting this, taking this off, pushing this back on, it goes back to standard. If you unplug this from the loom, the car will never start. So it's almost like an immobilizer device. So if you're ever leaving it at an airport or you live in a particular area that is not the best on your whatever reason, you can always take this off and the car's completely immobilized. So it's like a separate key, so it's quite good for that feature as well. This customer's just been in for Springer Spacers on his 335D, one small power. These go from about 6 10 Nm to 6 90 so you're definitely going to notice a big difference on the 80 Nm torque. So uh, this will be a rocket ship once it's fitted. So, Mr. Nicholas, Hello, just going to have a quick chat about power risers. Which sensors are unplugged on the original loom to then get plugged into the new one with the Remus? Okay, we pick up off the fuel pressure rail. Yeah. So, obviously, fuel pressure. We pick up off the Cam timing sensor. Okay. Obviously, minute per that signal, and then boost signal. So there's only three. On this particular one, there's only three. Yeah. We hide the power riser itself under this scotter panel here, just for ease of use and to keep it nice and tidy under the engine bay. So the car also comes with that blanking plug, which basically does what, Nicholas? Uh, this uh, well, this will basically put it back to standard. Yeah. Um, so if you're going for service uh, and you don't want the manufacturer to pick up on it, yeah, it's ever an issue if we're brutally honest. Um, so that'll put it back to stock. Um, and again, if you ever leave the vehicle in a, in a uh, less desirable area or airport for yeah. a period of time, yeah. you take the, the unit off itself entirely and the car is immobilised, it will not start. Excellent, that is what we like. What is this, Michael? Uh, this is a Tarok setup for um, the Golf R that we did a couple of weeks ago. The Golf R was in for pretty much everything. Uh, oh yes, downpipes and all sorts. Yeah, so we did a sports cat onto it. Intercooler, turbo muffler delete, basically went for the whole lot. So this is his brake upgrade. So this is just derived from Tarox. As you can see, it's a complete kit. So a new brake, new braided lines, new bolts. Uh, the discs are here, so that's his front, so his rear, so his rear pads. You've got power in a Golf R. You need to get yourself set of these. Oh yeah, boy. They're lovely, aren't they? A new video, welcome back to Motorhead Performance. We are here at work, it is a Saturday, and we have a beautiful Melbourne red BMW M114 for full conversion from the guys at Forensic Detailing. Well, at least one of the guys from Forensic Detailing. This is John. You excited about getting your car? I'm really excited, I can't wait for the transformation. Transformation, I mean, it, was, it would be a Tuesday, but it's not. And we also have this chappy. I don't actually know your name yet. Reg. Reg. I'm um, Paddy. Nice. Good, nice to meet you, mate. You come along for the ride today. Excellent. Well, you're going to go off and get breakfast. Yeah. We're going to take your car to bits, and then we'll carry on with the day. But this will be a different car when it's finished. You gotta see things. See new places and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Baby, do forget it. Motex Dot! Morning Mike. Morning, morning Patrick, how are you? Yeah, right, you mate? Not bad, thank you very much. We're ready for the London Motor Show. Sure. At Melbourne Red M140 in today's a complete Motec package, uh, spring spacers. In fact, talking of spacers, <gasps> new, the first of the 15 mils have arrived, so we're gonna put these on it. So these are the Motec spacers. Lovely, really nice. Basically identical to a TPI setup. Um, 15 mil, obviously double, uh, double drilled, obviously you use five for the car, the other five just to keep it nice and light, but what do you reckon? I think that is one gosh darn sexy space. Just hold it for a sec, Mike. Okay. Just be annoyed if I moved it. Yeah. Would you punch me? Probably. Okay. Okay, that's enough. So yeah, that's what this is in for today. Maxim kit, Remus exhaust. So this would be a really nice one. What else have we got to say? Remus exhaust are back in Monday. I think we've got 13 coming in. So by the time someone sees this video, they're probably really sold. Nice. Um, and uh, IMAX Springs, we've had 10 in. So 10 lucky people are going to have some springs. The next 100 are about three weeks. Well, away. not really, because 10 lucky people are three for Tony, four for Paddock. Yeah. That leaves three. 
And there's a few kids going on so far. Uh, and then the other ones are coming in soon as well. So that's all good. Got golf hour on its way in for an intake. Um, winning touch detailing should be with us on Tuesday. Um, Nick, what was that? Gosh. Uh, Maxton design, front balance freeze thumb. This is nice, we don't do many Melbourne Red ones. I think this is probably our second one. Yeah. We do believe car number eight or nine from TRL is going to be Melbourne Red as well. This will give us an indication of how they're going to look. Uh, this is going to be awesome. And what's also quite nice about this one, it's not a shadow edition, so I think with the bright silver wheels on it, not the, well, I think they're kind of grey, maybe? I think that's a darker finish, I can't remember. The silver, the lighter one, I think will look really nice. It'll look really fresh. Yeah. It'll look quite a, a sporty looking hat. It will look nice with its new Motec Stots! Yeah. And also, have a little thing for your thumb when it's cold. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. That probably should be put in room 101. Thumb holes and jumpers. I didn't that was there for but it has got a funky little thing here for your phone. Yeah, that's quite cool. But my phone's not in there. Yeah, right then. Nicholas! No. How was Spa? Spa was amazing. Did you get to drive a car? I got to drive Ray's E46 M3 supercharged. A supercharged E46 M3, and you were absolutely chomping all over GT3s, weren't you? Uh, I was, but it's uh, the first time I'd driven the car, so Ray was chomping over them a lot more. Mm, yes, well, I'll leave you to install this Max Design front splitter. <laughs> So the Red M140i is now completely finished. Remus exhaust is installed and because you've heard so many of them, I'm not going to film the actual start of the car. I'm going to film the customer's reaction to the start of the car. A little bit different today. Right, Michael? Yes, always right, Patrick. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? I think so. Daffy Dunn Mark 7.5 Golf R. I love this colour. I love the colour of calipers. Not being in the nice car. Uh, I did actually. Cherry red. You know, I inquired about a TPE sort of setup. Unfortunately, we can't do it for the Golf R's because they run a valved exhaust system with the GTI. Don't. So steady spent his money on software tuning, uh, which is just going in now. Same intake system, great intake system, and 12 mil spacer. So this is a good setup on the car. For about thousand pounds. So um, another happy customer. We'll do a little bit of a. Some budget footage. Budget, 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 video footage of it now. Going. And, uh, that's the end of it. And that's the end of it because we're off to London for the motor show, which will be in another vlog. So please like, share, subscribe down below. Yeah.